normally the best game of the year as far as hype. Uh, Liverpool, Manchester United need no introduction other than one is absolutely magnificent and one, it, it, they don't, I just cannot even give you a word for them because I don't know. Uh, Liverpool, minus 345, Man United, plus 768. But the one thing I'll tell you is that expect the unexpected. You expect Manchester United to let in five. It could be nil-nil. Uh, the draw is a runner. The draw is a runner at plus five. Oh eight, okay. The under three and a half is a runner at plus one hundred. Most goals in the second half is another. This everywhere you look, Brad. I'm going to come to you first because I want Mark to have the uh, final say. Every single number on there is a runner. <laughs> I feel like if you want to bet on this match, you can make an argument for whatever side you were, and I would hear it, yeah. and I would say absolutely. Um, what first. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about United and how life comes at you fast, right? We were just talking about how they had players who were winning Defender of the Month. Ten, I mean, of the month. Yeah, Ten Hag winning Manager of the Month. Now they're talking about Graham Potter possibly coming in and replacing Ten Hag. It's not a good United side, but they do get up when they play against Liverpool. And then Liverpool, uh, what a roller coaster it is uh, having futures on Liverpool to win the Premier League. Uh, what does that make that now? Seven wins from losing positions? It is the most stressful thing, but I think at, at any point, uh, you know, you're you're afraid if you have a lead against Liverpool just because of the talent. Um, but I do I do fear for them this a little bit um, in terms of uh, creating enough um, against a United time United team who's going to want to play them tough. And why I say that, we know uh, Thiago's obviously out, uh, Robertson's out, uh, but Jota's out, McAllister. I think he's going to be out because he came off. Um, which is a lot A lot of players out there. They're luckily going to be able to play kids in their um, Europa match, which means they're not going to be as tired. But I do think it's going to be difficult. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this because it's United, but I no, do believe in this true. match, it's going to be difficult to break them down, which actually led me um, to why I love the bet that I'm on in this and that Liverpool minus three corners. Not only is, <clears throat> excuse me, let me say that again, Liverpool minus three corner handicap. Not only has this been a fantastic a fantastic bet at Anfield. Liverpool should have a uh, 55 to 60 percent of the possession in this, but breaking them down is not going to be as easy. So it's not. I don't think they're going to win the corner hand and win the handicap of minus one and a half in the match early in the match, which means they're not going to take their foot off the gas. Um, even in the last match that play, they played, I believe it was seven four. Um, the corner handicap for Liverpool, and that was a more of a better performance um, for Liverpool than it was uh, for United. I just think that this is one of those matches where United are either going to step up and play tough for their manager or Liverpool is just going to have a field day, control the ball, toy around with them, and dominate. Either way, I still like the corner handicaps there. Um, but obviously, if it breaks, if they, if if it's a tough nil-nil, 1-1 one, one first half, that plays even better for our corner handicap. Yeah, let me just give you a little word of warning here. And listen, I, I've spotted that Liverpool were almost back to that imperious form that we've shown over the last couple of seasons. And Man United have got all the weapons that have hurt basically Liverpool recently in Fulham scoring free with good pace, good passing on the break. Bournemouth yeah. absolutely scared the living daylights out of Liverpool exactly the same way. Man United have that. Now, I could see this being a draw half-time if they just get out of it. 45 minutes, let's move on. Marco, how? where do you go with this game? Because you and I both know that everything goes out the window. We don't... And the personnel check. Let's see if some of the old heads... Come in midfield, sit, and then just hit the ball long to those who have energy. Yeah, I mean, I, I would find it difficult to make a pro Manchester United case in this yeah, match. Um, Liverpool are the second shortest price they've ever been against Man United uh, this weekend. And I think it's justified based on what we've seen. Um, at Anfield, they're seven from seven this season, averaging three goals per game. We know they lost just once in front of their home fans in Premier League football uh, since 2018 when there has been supporters in the stadium, which is an incredible record. They're unbeaten in seven at home to United, winning the last four uh, without conceding. Uh, and the last two of those matches have ended 4-0 and 7-0. Um, so the, um, I understand why the market is expecting it to be a one-sided contest. Um, probably more so down to the team news as well, because Bruno Fernandes 
is suspended here. Um, you know, we we sort of ridicule him for his leadership quali qualities, but he has been the most influential player in possession for United this season. He's been involved in 33% of their Premier League goals. He also ranks first for chances created and second for expected assists, not just for Man United, but in through the whole Premier League. So um, he's been producing. Uh, they've also lost Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw midweek to injuries. So they are going to be patched up. They are down to, I wouldn't say the bare bones, but not far from it. Plus, there's this record away at top nine teams under Eric Ten Hag, which is just utterly embarrassing. They played 11 times against top nine finishers away from home. They've lost 10 of those games and drawn just once. And more often than not, they concede multiple goals as well. So, you know, even in midweek when they were supposed to be fighting for their lives against Bayern Munich, um, playing proactive front foot football, they barely really scratched the surface against Bayern. Um, so now this season, they've lost 13 of 23 games across all comps. Last year, they lost 12 of 62 games across all comps. They're bottom half in terms of expected points, bottom six when playing away. Only four clubs have faced more shots than Man United this season. It really is quite embarrassing. I think the only thing that kind of stops me from pulling the trigger on Liverpool in, in many different markets is the fact that I've not been actually convinced with Liverpool in recent weeks. They were fortunate to escape in that game against Fulham. I thought they were quite sluggish uh, and struggled to create chances uh, against both Sheffield United and Palace away from home. They were vulnerable to the counter-attack in both, which is an area of weakness which United can try and exploit here too. So they've also been very, very reliant on late goals. Uh, in the last eight games, they've scored 11 goals past the 73rd minute. So clearly they have the firepower better than everyone else in the Premier League to, to produce moments that matter, especially late on. But at the moment, for me, they've not been playing like a team who are leading the Premier League. So it's just a word of warning. But as you say, form goes out of the window in these type of fixtures. Um, but more often, the, the cream does come to the crop. So I do expect Liverpool to win this game. I don't expect it to be a 7-0 shellacking as it was last season. So the way in which I was going to look to play it, um, it was a plus number. It's now minus 120. It was to bat Liverpool to win and under three and a half goals. Sorry, under four and a half goals. Uh, that's because Liverpool have only scored four goals or more once in the Premier League this season. And only one of Man United's matches have featured five goals or more. And I think whilst Everton have been a better outfit for Manchester United recently, um, I just saw that game, the Merseyside derby earlier in the campaign, where Liverpool did toil for a, lot, a long part of that match and the red card did tip the balance in their favour. I'm not suggesting United are anywhere near as um, rugged defensively as Everton, but um, perhaps they can, they can keep it kind of close and competitive for, for at least an hour before Liverpool bring the cavalry off the bench and, and win it late on. So, um, yeah, I'd be surprised if Liverpool don't win this game. Yeah, I would be surprised. But there again, everything is on offer because we know that Liverpool's... Have, listen, they just let in three goals. Could have been six against Fulham. They've been so sloppy because they've got such quality going forward. Um, I can see Man United going maybe with a five, four, one or... Three, a four, then like a, a, a solid like triangle of three with two wide men. I mean, there's so many options. I need to look at this lineup check, but I will be watching this game with the sound up, so I can't hear anybody else moaning in the background. <laughs> it would just be let's have the uh, let's have this game on because it means so much to both sets of uh, fans, supporters, or anyone who's connected to the club. Let's have a little look at the official picks. Liverpool minus three corners, minus 120. You definitely want Man United going up 1-0. I thought that the oh, most yeah. goal second half could be uh, the way to, to look at it. I think this will be a very, very tight game until the seal is broken. Okay, now...